Hey, hey, it's your girl Raquel, and I'm here to give you my review of Wakanda Forever. Right off the back, I'm gonna let you know that I'm giving this movie two thumbs up. All right, a round of applause, a standing ovation in an ass shape because, baby, they did the damn thing. All right, I laughed, I cried, I was proud. I was, you know, surprised. I went through a full spectrum of emotions watching this movie. I guess you can kind of say I was emotionally drained, but in a good way, because I thoroughly enjoyed all two hours and 40 minutes of this movie. It didn't even seem like it was that long because I was so enthralled in the story that they were telling. Now, initially, I did have my concerns, like how are they going to deliver an epic film without Chadwick Boseman because we know that he was the epitome of grace and he provided so much for the culture because he's an amazing actor and so it's like Black Panther without Black Panther like how is that because child yes I call it a Black Panther because you know black people the movie called Wakanda forever Black Panther 2 okay but anywho <laughs> they overcame that obstacle and came up with a beautiful story i mean superb acting great storyline like the plot was as thick as me baby okay <laughs> and i've been eating real good lately as y'all just saw but as great as i thought it was because i mean we are in the midst of a bad bitch renaissance and baby all the women in this movie were strong leads and they delivered so i was feeling it but my friend who took me to this advanced screening you know she opened my eyes you know it's something that i really wasn't paying attention to and so while i was watching the movie she asked where the men and i'm thinking she's looking for like you know michael b jordan to be making a a comeback you know shirtless showing all the muscles or something she's looking for the eye candy but no she's looking for the men to be protecting these women you know why do the women gotta fight and in my mind i'm like shoot i'm a strong woman i i don't need no man to protect me but that's because i've been conditioned by the society but no baby i need protection baby i got a whole husband who protects me but yet you know they put this idea in my mind that you know we don't need no man we need our our beautiful black kings to be out here you know protecting us and so i know i'm i'm here telling y'all to go see and support the movie because i thoroughly enjoyed it but she brought that she brought that point to me and i'm like damn sis because she challenged me to name one movie where a black woman's death was being avenged and i was like do, 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 do. put me on jeopardy and i can come up, come up with the final jeopardy response baby so if you can come up with one please please drop it in the comment section because i was stumped um baby black men we need y'all we love y'all protect us you know i know in these movies it'd be portraying us as the strong you know woman who don't you know need nobody but we need y'all let our femininity flourish because baby the reason why i think it kind of went over my head not until because i'm i was stay at home mom okay <laughs> i have a protector so these are things that i have but not all of my black women have this and they should all right so y'all make sure y'all listening to us y'all make sure y'all looking out for us and many of y'all do i'm not saying that you know this is just the narrative that hollywood is trying to push out there and i'm looking for some movies that you know and maybe i write it myself baby where we are being protected we are being valued all complexions of us because she also pointed out you know some of the discrepancies that happen you know versus dark-skinned women and light-skinned women because the warriors are always you know dark-skinned women like in the love interest is always somebody you know light-skinned or very complected and we need to change that because all women are beautiful okay of any shape of any size and i'm just asking hollywood to give us more diverse representation of how black women are viewed by the society besides just either being the strong black woman who don't need nobody who can do everything and we you know hear me roar or you know overly sexualized like why can't i just be you know a stay-at-home mom 
who, you know, got kids that take me through capers throughout the day of just crazy stuff that, that just happens. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But long story short, I enjoyed the film. Y'all go check it out. Make your own conclusion. And let me know what you think when you see it. Movie comes out November 11th. Today is November 9th. So, you know, I got that early, early. I'm out.